What is up guys, I'm back for another squad builder on my channel. This is going to be a Barclays Premier League team that I'm building today. So starting off, I'm using the 3-5-2 formation, as it was one of my favourite formations in FIFA 12, so I decided to give it a go with this Premier League team in FIFA 13. So starting off in goal, we have Michael Vorm, I believe it is, Mikel Vorm, something like that. 83 diving, 74 handling, 76 kicking, 84 reflexes and 82 positioning. Such a great player to have, 4,000 coins, not too... Uh, not too shabby for 4,000 coins as Premier League players are going for a high rate at the moment. Six foot as well, so he's quite a big guy in goal. The only reason I really bought him is because when I, uh, cause I'm a West Ham supporter and when Swansea played against West Ham, he was an absolute animal in goal, so I decided to give him a go in FIFA 13 and he is a great keeper. So moving over to the first centre-back, we have Martin Skirtle and... Uh, I got him in a pack, so there was, I don't know how much he's going for at the moment. Six for three, so he's a huge guy. 68 pace, I suppose that's quite a downfall to Martin Skirtle, but 81 defending, 83 heading. Definitely worth however much he is, and definitely get him because he's a huge guy and helps out of the back, and he has great strength too. So moving over to the main centre-back we have on this team is David Luiz. 78 pace, 71 passing, 71 dribbling, 77 defending, and 78 heading. All-round amazing stats, and such a great player. He was so OP on FIFA 12. Uh, I don't think he's as OP as he was on FIFA 12 compared to FIFA 13 now, but still, nevertheless, he is a great defender to have on your team. Moving over to the last centre back, we have Stefan Mbia, six foot two, such a great defender. Three thousand nine hundred coins again, not too shabby for another amazing defender. Eighty rated rare player, seventy six pace, seventy nine defending, seventy eight heading. Really worth the coins and helps out and does a great job at the back. Moving over to the first centre defensive mid for the team, we have Anita, 83 pace, 74, def 74 dribbling, 74 defending. Uh, definitely worth the coins to go out and get. 700 coins for a guy like this is, well, well, just such a great deal. 74 defending for a centre defensive mid is great. And uh, definitely worth the coins. Not the tallest of players, as you can see, 5 for 6. Does look like a midget on the pitch compared to everyone else. But definitely worth the coins. As you can see in the players there, I did have Lucas Livia at CDM before. But I decided to go and get Javi Garcia. Chavi Garcia, yeah, six foot one, four thousand nine hundred coins again for a newly transferred Manchester City player is not too shabby at all. Six foot one, like I said, eighty three defending, eighty six heading. Not the fastest of players, but definitely helps out with those defensive stats. So there's no need for the extra pace. Moving over to the left mid for the team, we have Clint Dempsey, 74 pace, 81 shot, 77 passing, 82 driven, 83 heading, all round amazing player, 1,300 coins as well, definitely worth it, definitely just go out and get him if you're looking for a cheap left mid, 6 foot 1 again, 4, four star weak foot and 4 star skills, definitely worth the coins, go out and get him now. Moving over to the right mid for the team, we have Valencia. I believe I paid a bit more for this guy. Yeah, 11,500 coins. 90 pace, 70 shots, 79 passing, 82 dribbling. Absolute speed demon as he was on FIFA 12. And uh, he doesn't have the best of weak foot, as you can see. Only a two-star weak foot. But four-star skill moves and that pace definitely help out when he's charging down the wings. Moving over to the centre attack in mid of the team, we have Steven Gerrard. I got him in a pack. I'm not too sure how much he's going for at the minute. I think it's around 20k. Really not too sure. 71 pace, 86 shot, 86 passing, 77 dribbling, 73 defending, and 75 heading. His card, the stats all round are amazing. Definitely worth to go out and get. Really does well with this centre attack in mid formation position, I mean. But loads of people play him in the CDM role, but uh, I decided to go for the cam. And another great thing about Steven Gerrard, Gerard's card is that his free kicks, he does have 99 power on the free kicks. So definitely worth putting in a BPL team. Moving over to the first striker, we have Mario Balotelli. Probably one of the best players on this game. I don't know why, but he just seems so amazing on this game. Everything about him is insane. And I got him in a pack too, so I was quite lucky there. Six foot two, four star weak foot, four star skills, 84 pace, 82 shot, 84 dribbling and 73 heading. Probably one of the most OP strikers in this game and definitely worth having in a team if you're making a Barclays Premier League one. 
Moving over to the striker, we have Aruna Kone. And uh, 2,200 coins for a striker like this guy is nothing out your pocket. Four-star skills on four-star weak foot again. 87 pace, 73 shots, 78 dribbling, 76 heading. And uh, that is the team, guys. They are the two strikers. They, they've got a great partnership up top. And that is the team. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I think this team come to around, I think it's more expensive. I'm not too sure. It definitely pops over around 150k, I would say. But definitely worth it. Had so much fun playing with this team. So if you did enjoy this video, guys, remember to leave a like and leave a comment for any other teams that you would like to see, as always. And I will see you guys next time for another Ultimate Team video or a squad builder. Peace. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it, as it always means a lot to me. And if you want to see the previous video on my channel, make sure to click the left video icon. And if you want to see the vid next video in this series, or the next episode, make sure you click the right annotation when it is available. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.